If you're curious if the municipal government or the county government in the area in which you live is, uh, you know, I don't know, kind of crony capitalist, like they want to support the big powerful companies that have already made it and have really deep pockets. Uh, if you want to be able to tell if they support those folks or if they support kind of the underdog, and that's kind of what I consider myself is, you know, starting with nothing and, and trying to work your way up and get a go and have a small business, kind of the, the American dream. Uh, if you want to know what the local jurisdiction that, that makes the rules, if you want to know what they think uh, about that, what their general attitude is, look into application fees and see what it takes, not just the initial application, but what does it take to go and start up, just take any business. Like let's say you you made a deal with a local farmer that you're going to use a, a corner of their property and you're going to put some mounds in it and have a bicycle track and you're going to charge people to come and ride their dirt bikes, uh, their pedal dirt bikes over these dirt mounds. Uh, talk to the local government and find out what steps it's going to take to uh, to get that business going. And if they say that you're going to have to have an environmental impact study and you're going to have to have a, a, a zoning hearing and a this hearing and a that hearing and you, you're you going to have to have a handicap accessible restroom because at some point you might have an employee that's disabled and, and would need that uh, and then there's an extra cost for that and if you have to have a landscaping plan done and you have to pay a professional landscape architect to come up with it and if you have to pay to even go to the application meeting this will tell you the true heart of your local government officials and please know that your government officials that that smile at you when they want you to vote for them they could change all of this very easily within a month or two they could have meetings and change these these horrible rules if there are rules like that in your area if on the other hand the local government officials in your area you come to them and you say hey i'm thinking about doing this business what steps do i need to do to to do this and and applications or whatever and if they look at you with a strange look in their face and say wait a minute that's between you and the farmer and that's up to you. If you make a deal with the farmer, it's none of our business what you do on, on the land that you're leasing from the farmer. Why would you even ask us this? If that is their response, you know you live in an area where the government truly cares about you and wants wants you to grow, wants you to be able to provide value to other people, wants you to, to make money and, and, and support your family and, and donate to charities and do all that. So this is just a, a little trick for checking with your local government and seeing if they're on your team or if they're on the rich, powerful, kind of ruling elite side. I hope this helps. Let me know what uh, what your area is like.